If you're ready to update the coffee station in your home, I'm going to share with you a few ideas so you can turn it into a trendy coffee bar. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find weekly home decor videos with practical tips for a home you'll love. Today we're going to create a coffee bar. Right now coffee bars are trending all over Pinterest and YouTube and blogs and I'm gonna show you some tips that you can use to create a simple coffee bar. Recently my husband and I have transitioned from using a Keurig all the time to now using a French press. So for the longest time, the area where our little coffee bar is has kind of been a mess. We've had a Keurig that's been sitting there and not being used. We've had a French press and we've kind of just had a mix of a bunch of different coffee supplies. Since all that has just kind of been a mess, I have been ready to take the whole thing and make it over and turn it into a cute coffee bar. If you have a Keurig, you can still do this too. If you use a French press like me, or maybe a pour over brewer or a regular coffee maker, you can still do this too because I'm going to share with you some simple tips in order to make a simple, easy to use coffee bar. First, I'm going to take you over to our current coffee bar and show you what it looks like before the makeover. I'm going to share with you a few products that I bought in order to add to the coffee bar and give you my tips and then show you the makeover. So here's what our coffee bar looks like before. This is in our butler's pantry. So it is a little kind of like nook behind our fridge here. So the setup that we have right now is not how I want it to be because we have the Keurig here and then we also have a kettle for heating up water for our French press. We used to use the Keurig all the time and then now we started getting into French press coffee. Keurig is actually just sitting there. It hasn't even been turned on in months and we mostly use the kettle and then put it into the French press to make coffee and not pictured here, but we always use this very sophisticated measuring container to fill up the water because we like our coffee. We like to put it at 24 ounces. So this was like the only thing that was big enough to fit. Oftentimes it gets set right there. And as you can see, that does not look very good. Um, and then once we put like a spoon rest and a spoon and have our coffee cups here it just starts to get very messy and it doesn't look good we also have our honey here and then back behind here i have my mason jar full of coffee and then off to the side we have our coffee grinder because since we have the Keurig and the kettle plugged in here, there are no more plugs and there's no more space for it. So this is just getting really crowded and I am ready to get the Keurig packed away and get it out of here uh, so that we can have a nice coffee bar with everything that we need for making our French press coffee. Ever since several months ago when I decided I wanted to make over the coffee bar, I have been collecting several different products to add and use to decorate our coffee bar. So I'm gonna share those with you along with tips for things that you want to keep in mind whenever you are decorating your coffee bar. The most important item to me that I purchased for this coffee bar and that I think that you should have in any type of coffee bar is a tray to gather things together on. So I purchased this wooden tray with handles. I bought this to put our French press on and to put the container where we keep our coffee on. So the reason that you want a tray is because it will gather things together and kind of collect it all so it looks nice and put together instead of just like you set a bunch of random items on the counter. The next two things that I bought were specifically French press items. I bought a larger stainless steel French press and I bought a very large carafe. So I did this because the French press that we used to use was a lot smaller and it only made enough for one cup of coffee for myself and one for my husband. So I bought this larger one so I can make four cups. So then I bought the carafe so that the extra while we're before we use it can be kept hot in here. The next thing that I purchased is a container to keep our coffee grounds in and that brings me to my next tip. You want something to keep 
your coffee in. Whether you have a Keurig and you use K-cups or you use ground coffee, something, a nice little container to set out, probably on a tray, a nice decor item to have so that you have the coffee readily available and right there and it's in a nice cute container. I purchased something that's not see-through because I just keep regular coffee grounds in there. If you use K-cups, you might want a clear container so that you can just dump all the K-cups in there and people can see what's in there. That way the container acts as a decor item because it's something pretty that you're looking at but it's also functional. Next and tip number three is that I have this coffee sign. I purchased this a while ago getting ready to do the coffee makeover but pretty much some kind of sign. It could be about coffee or it could be about something about home sweet home but a nice cute little sign adds a little bit of extra decor to your coffee bar plus like I talk about in my top tips for decorating on a budget you can get small little signs for just a couple of dollars at lots of different stores and they're an easy way to decorate without spending too much money. Next and tip number four is using small faux plants. I talk about using faux plants all of the time. They're one of my favorite things to decorate with. Faux plants are great for a coffee bar because it adds a nice little pop of color and texture and it's something small just to add a little bit of decor to the coffee bar. The last thing that I purchased is this small cake stand. This tip goes along with using a tray. You can use a tray or a cake stand or you can use them both. I have a very wide space in my kitchen that I use as my coffee bar. So I'm using both a tray to keep the French press and the carafe on and also this cake stand for a little bit of extra storage and decor. Now that we have all of our products and our tips, let's go transform this coffee bar. Starting over here with the tray and the French press. This tray that I bought works perfectly to hold the French press, the carafe, and this container that I bought for the ground coffee. The container here works really nicely. I put all of the ground coffee in here and the lid is a lot easier to get open than that mason jar that I had. And the French press and the craft look really nice with that stainless steel finish. I had originally purchased a glass measuring cup to use here in order to put water into the kettle. I talk about that in my kitchen home decor haul, which I will link down below. But once I put all three of these things on the tray, this kind of worked out perfectly. And I decided to keep that glass measuring cup, but I just keep it under the sink where I keep my dish strainer. So it just kind of sets down there whenever we are done filling up the kettle. In that kitchen home decor haul, I also talk about this coffee sign that I purchased. It works perfectly up against this tray. It's the perfect height to put up in front of the tray, especially since I push the tray back so that there is counter space in front of it. Then over here to the kettle and the coffee grinder, I took the coffee grinder from the corner over there and put it next to the kettle now that I have an open outlet since the Keurig is gone. I had originally wanted to put both of these over in the corner over here, but that just kind of didn't work because the outlet is right here, right behind both of these things. I just used them to put in front of the outlet in order to hide the cords. And lastly, we have the cake stand that I bought for the corner over here since the coffee grinder and the kettle wouldn't fit over here in the corner. I needed something to add to the corner. I also needed something to put the honey in. So I decided that the cake tray would be the best thing to add to put the honey on to and to have a couple of other extra items for the coffee bar. I did find this glass jar of honey. This is something that we bought here locally and it was since it's in a glass jar like this, it looked a lot nicer than the old honey that I have. So I decided to keep this one out instead of the other honey that was kind of more in a squirt bottle. And it kind of gives it more of a farmhouse feel since it's in like a nice little glass jar. Then I took the hinged mason jar that I originally had our ground coffee in. 
I wanted to take the ground coffee out of this because it's a little bit hard to open because of the hinge. So I decided I need some needed something else to add decor to the tray and I usually keep these coffee beans in the pantry just in a bag and whenever I need them I just go grab them and I add them to the coffee grinder. So since I already had this I thought it would be a nice addition to the tray. It looks nice since you can see through it to the coffee beans and then whenever I need to grind fresh coffee to put into the white container all I have to do is open it up add it to the grinder and then I can put it in. And the last little piece that I added to the tray is this small little fake succulent. I talk about this and decorating with other faux plants in my faux plant decor video that I will link down below. It adds just a nice little pop of color and texture to the tray and I needed just one more small thing to finish out the tray and that was just the perfect piece. I am really happy with the way that this coffee bar turned out. Not only is it a really cute coffee bar with cute trays and containers and signs and a little faux plant, it's functional and something that I can use every day. And all those things that I didn't use anymore are gone, so I'm left with a functional coffee bar that fits my needs. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you create a home you'll love. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below because I'm interested. Are you team Curie, team French press, team pour over? How do you like your coffee? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.